Hey, hey, so it's uh, about 26 degrees today. We're out and about, but... Sideline from running. Yeah, darn it, we'll tell you about it on the recap, but you know, it's still part of our uh, coast to coast training. About 48 days before we head out. So stick around. Thanks for joining. <laughs> hey! Hello, hello. Um, all right. So when we left off last week, David was in pain and I was forcing him against his will to contact the doctor on Monday, <laughs> which he did. I did. I actually called the doctor. And? Well, so after talking to my doctor, uh, telemed is amazing. Yeah, right? he gets to still go to his awesome old doctor. Yeah. Anyway, I uh, described my symptoms, and he told me, yeah, really sounds like you pulled your uh, groin. Groin. <laughs> uh, so he uh, prescribed an anti-inflammatory, and he told me uh, his words, I'm going to tell you something you don't want to hear, no running for two weeks. Two weeks. He knows we're training. Yeah. But he said two weeks, no running. So welcome to video number one of Doctor Prescribed No Running. Yeah. Um, I guess the timing's good because next week is Thanksgiving and we'll have family in town. So yeah. that works out. Yeah, that's true. Um, but uh, yeah, no running for two weeks. And then if it doesn't uh, improve, what's our next step? PT or something? PT probably. Yeah. He was kind of hopeful based on answers to his questions about how I was feeling. He was, he seemed pretty hopeful that the anti-inflammatory and the mm -hmm. rest uh, mm -hmm. would uh, really kind of take care of it. Uh, as yeah. well as some uh, PT exercises, light PT, and I told him we were still doing yoga, which we're yeah. doing. So he's like, you know, just take it easy. Yeah. So we did a lot of yoga. Oh, another thing he said was even walking, just really try to walk on a flat surface. Uh, we live in the mountains. We don't have any of those. So we've been taking very interesting walks that start off at our house, go this way as far as it's flat, and then back, and then this way as far as it's flat, and then here, and then here. Yeah. Uh, we've gotten up to about like three quarters of a mile doing that. Yeah. You know, uh, and then Millie gets upset because she doesn't like turning around, and whatever. So the dog is controlling us. So we have gone on some other walks, yeah. but when we hit inclines, um, David has experimented with walking them backwards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See if it's not going to pull his groin anymore. How many of you have walked backwards? It's not easy. Lately, uh, it was. It's it like was, a mind game. Yeah, and going uphill backwards, it was weird. Yeah, but it didn't strain your uh, uh, groin. I mean, my calves were burning. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, you know, if you haven't done it lately, try walking backwards for a little bit. It's, uh, yeah. it's kind of freaky. Yeah, kind of neat. So uh, we we kept walking as flat as we could. We did a bunch of yoga. We did the PT stuff and I did some core workouts and that's kind of been our week. Um, we're really trying to actually take it easy because we don't want this to get worse. We do want it to get better. Right. But hmm. I will say for both of us, uh, it's kind of weighing heavily on, on our minds now. It's like, oh my gosh, are we going to be able to do this? We're pretty close. Um, 48 days. Hopefully 48 days until we leave. Hopefully at some point in December we'll be able to get a couple of long runs in and then that I think will help the uh, mental um, heebie-jeebies. Yeah, that's what they have. Yeah. So we just need to, ooh, that was bumpy. We just need, we just need a couple of runs to like make us, remind us that we can do it. We know we can do it. We've done half marathons before, but it's been a while. And our last long run, long, long run was nine miles. And it was probably two months ago at this point. 
Um, it's been really difficult, as you know, for us to find a way to do long runs in our new environment. And now it's getting colder, and maybe, oh my gosh, maybe we'll have snow today. Oh, that's right. Big snowstorm. Maybe. 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 They've said it before. So, that's where we're at. Two, um, two doctor prescribed off weeks for us. And I know I'm not injured, but solidarity. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> we're in this together, so. <laughs> We may go to the gym, uh, to our little fitness center, and get on the treadmill so David can walk on a flat surface and I can run. We may try that yeah. some this week. Because yeah. it's Thanksgiving this week. Happy uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, I yeah, said happy birthday uh, this week. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving happy to anybody who uh, celebrates, celebrates Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, again, my family's coming to town. We're looking forward to it. It'll be fun. I have a house full of, uh, house full of folks. And a lot of good food this week. So, yeah. we need to go at least uh, speed walking or running. Yeah. 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 So, so that's where we're at. Yeah. But as always, remember, we do our best to upload a video every Whether week. we're running or not. Yep. And uh, I mean, it's, it's getting close, so we're going to have uh, hopefully running soon and mm -hmm. uh, maybe some, uh, some snow. And snow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So uh, stay in touch. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know how your training's going. And you know, for some of you, we're gonna get to see you very, very Yay. soon. So uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty, uh, I don't know, always an adventure. <laughs>